hopefully you can see the running calculator. This is a free uh, website URL. I was actually lucky enough, uh, James Russell, who's a good friend of mine, introduced me to this, and I absolutely love it. Anytime I'm preparing someone for a AFL uh, combine, draft combine that is, I'll reference this for creating their splits, particularly if they're in season and they're playing games and I don't want them to do a 2K time trial. We can use their past data, which they might complete a 2K time trial that year in preseason, um, and and use either a target 2K that they want to hit in the combine, and I can use, create their splits and their training time. Uh, or for those that um, potentially are still learning how to pace their 2K time trial, and we believe from a physiological point of view, they're just getting the the pacing wrong but their actual fitness their their capacity is much better than what they're getting so we train towards um making sure that we're pushing them in their shorter rep running uh, particularly if we don't have access to gps and we don't know what their max velocity is then i'll use um their the running calculator work out what we want to hit when we're doing things like repeat speed uh, to make sure that we're yeah, progressing their speed and we're not just programming off their 2k time trial when they um, bomb that um, so it's good for prescription. There's also some different tabs, so you can look at your training paces. You know, if you want to have a, an easy, let's say you're doing it's off season, you're doing four runs a week, which is what we do on my online program. Two of those uh, ones easy to very easy, so more just working on your aerobic base, and then we'll have one that's a, a harder effort, typically programmed at around the same speed that you're moving at for your 2K time trial. So that's where we're working at our threshold pace, and then you have. Um, ones where the 2K time trial isn't as relevant, you know, your speed sessions, your acceleration sessions, where we're trying to work on more your high-intensity running. Uh, and then the fourth will typically be a mix where of either threshold running with a bit of repeat speed and much more like what a, what a game of football would feel like. Uh, so with those easy runs as well as with your threshold runs, uh, sometimes, and, and pretty common mistake for footballers, their easy runs end up turning into a threshold run. Uh, and then they their threshold run ends up becoming uh, a, a maximal effort where they're grinding and they're, they're, they end up their consistent speed ends up dropping off. Whereas if they just held their consistent 2K pace time, they'd actually get more exposure and better training quality over that session. Going back to um, the episodes of this week's power tip is all about focus on the process uh over your outcome so like we mentioned you've got your 2k time trial goal so that's a good example to use for this exercise and um, we want to focus on completing your program at the highest standard so focus on the process of your training so rather than worrying about the 2k time trial that's in the future focus on the training session that you have for that day and maximizing your effort on that program okay so that's critical towards um, if you focus on the process and you do that over a consistent amount of time the outcome will take care of itself Okay, so that's relevant to any goal that you have. Have a high standard. Be relentless with things like your running technique and following the program to how it's prescribed. Um, live an elite lifestyle. Make sure you're getting quality of sleep. You're eating uh, real food, healthy, locally sourced food, uh, and you're making sure that you're getting in uh, your, your recovery sessions as well. So massage, uh, ice bath, sauna, uh, anything that's going to help you sleep really well at night and um, help you cope with the training loads. So recovery sessions, mobility sessions, uh, just simply going for a walk and just getting that blood flow through the body, yoga, Pilates. It's just the name of few, but making sure that you're not just putting in the work, but you're also working in on your body as well.